Oh, Lord. I was going to edit this video just a few minutes ago, and uh, <laughs> I sped up uh, part of my video and uh, four times the speed, and it made my riding more sound like a two-cycle weed eater. <laughs> so y'all stay tuned, and uh, we'll get some stuff fixed, too, but uh, I'll just throw a little humor in there. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hey, good afternoon, Mormon Medic One. Today I've got a uh, spindle off of a Murray lawnmower, riding mower, 42 inch. And uh, it's going to be a little quick tip, but uh, inevitably, whenever you go to take these off, the bolts are going to break off in this hub. Uh, as you can tell, uh, the part number for these bolts are 25. X7MA. The MA stands for Murray Acquisition and uh, Briggs and Stratton has since bought out Murray so they put MA after the part numbers. So, <coughs> excuse me. What you can try to do is try to get these out with an impact wrench, work them back and forth, but uh, usually what happens is you end up tearing up or wearing out the threads inside of here and we're going to go ahead and replace this but I just want to show you uh, what you can do to try to keep from having to buy such expensive bolts. Those bolts, those cone shaped bolts are about three bucks a piece uh, from your Murray or Briggs and Stratton dealer. Uh, normally what I do is just take a normal 3 8 bolt and drill out these holes I'll show you here in a minute. Well, as you can tell the bolt will not go down in the hole and these holes in the new spindle are not tapped. What you can do you can actually get you a tap and you can tap that out I'm going to take a drill bit and I'm going to drill out all the holes to 3 8 and I'm going to come up through the deck with the bolt and I'm going to put a nut on the underside of the deck to hold my spindle in place. Now these holes are designed to be tapped with these cone shaped bolts from the factory. These work great, but like I said, they're about three dollars a piece if you break them off. Just take and drill these holes out. Now, one thing you don't want to do is put five sixteenths bolts in here and then try to tighten it down because your deck has three eighths holes and you'll end up, it'll end up chattering and wearing out the mounting holes in the deck. So don't do that. If you're going to do anything by drilling, go 3 8 holes and put a 3 8 bolt washers and nuts. I'm going to go ahead and take my 3 8 drill bit, go ahead and drill out my holes. Kind of give you an idea of what I'm doing here. As you can tell, I've got the spindle mounted and uh, I've got the bolts through the top 
through the bottom, and there's five of them. Goes all the way around, and uh, we'll get up under here. Look. And uh, it's a little bit dark, but you can still see what I'm talking about. Just like I said, you just drill these out, and you can uh, just run some bolts down in there. I like to uh, find me some bolts just long enough to where it just catches the uh, the nylon locking part of it, and it doesn't protrude down. If it protrudes past the nut, uh, it'll get rust and debris build up on it. And when you go to take it off, uh, it's just going to wreak havoc trying to get them off because it's going to their threads will be messed up. But anyway. I just thought I'd throw that in there and uh, give you a little quick tip on Murray blade spindle replacements. Yes, the fast way would be just to run those 25X7MA bolts down in there with an air wrench, but uh, this method will save you <coughs> quite a bit of money. Uh, you can buy these spindles online for about $15. Uh, shipped to your door. I got them on eBay uh, You can probably find them at the uh, Lot more shops for about 30 bucks $35 a piece But if you have any questions about Murray lawnmowers in general, let me know more medic one Have a good day